Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a fish aquarium haul. So supplies for the aquarium. I got my boyfriend with me, looking like a tomato. We just walked here. What's up, everybody? Greet, meet and greet. Yep. 60 subscribers. You really are tall. I have to go all the way like this to record you. Watch out, what if you walked into that? <laughs> First thing I always go to is the fish section. So they got some barbs. They have the green spotted puffer. Every time I come, I look at these guys. Maybe a tank in the future, one of these guys are really cool. I'm gonna do some more research. The neon tetras, of course, the injected fish, as I call them. Pretty good selection, snails, more mollies, long skirt tetras, more mollies. They do the good. Mason molly. We're gonna be getting them. Look at them. There's beautiful girls in here. Definitely getting some. Bone and Molly's. These are really cute fish. Sharks. Some really nice sized parrot fish. And then they have some African cichlids. Sometimes I completely forget to say cichlid and I say chiclet and all these other things. But my boyfriend really likes that Oscar. He shows the most interest in those guys. So maybe we'll get a monster tank full of some really nice albino Oscars. Maybe that'll be a future plan. And then they have loads and loads of feeder goldfish. The plants look kind of ugly so we skipped on those. Ton more feeder goldfish, some minnows. I call them rice fish, but they're minnows. And some really nice sized parrot fish. Those are really cool. I think I might want to do a tank full of these. These are kind of cool. I like their little body shape. Yeah, their little body shape is cute. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, the angels. They have some really nice sized angels too, so you don't really have to worry about growing them out. So this place is called Pet Supplies Plus. I'm not really sure if they have it out of where I live. They have a pretty good selection, some sharks, some catfish. So I thought I'd show you guys what they got. So right now I'm just picking out some of the girls that I think are cute, not knowing that it's just gonna turn out in death. Deaf and deaf and more deaf. I always come check out the birds. I think they're so cool, but I have never committed to actually having a bird. If you have a bird and you like it, let me know. I don't even understand why they sell these little tanks. Some of these are just so tiny. Poor babies. Eh, the selection is not really that nice. That's like the prettiest one, and look at his tail. Oh my god, look at that tail. It's a bit off, a little broke. Yeah, it's broken. He's pretty too. They all look lethargic. Okay, so the selection wasn't too good, but me and my boyfriend love bettas, and we'll definitely be getting a better tank in the future when the selection's a little better. And I always come check out the reptiles. They had a blue tongue skink this time, which I thought that was pretty cool. And I always come look at the little baby bearded dragons. I used to have one way back in the day. He got huge. Here I am just picking out some brine shrimp. That's a good like weekly treat for the guppies. 
Mine's and the Omega good. one is a good brand, so we'll get those. I don't know, babe, which girls do you think I should get? I have pretty girls in here, look at their tails. None of them. Don't get none of them. Definitely her, do you see her? She's cool. Get her. Really pretty ones. Yep, getting some girls for sure. So yeah, I think this store keeps their tanks decently clean and they have a pretty good selection, so that's why I came here. And I show you guys what they got. Now, as for these green spotted puffers, I keep coming back to these guys. These guys are so cute. I definitely want to do some more research and see if I can get a tank. They're only 13 bucks here. That one just freaked out. I think I spooked it. But they're really cute. I want one. Look at this. I have a fake butterfish. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, that's the only thing that can live in literally these tiny little tanks. So yeah, that's probably what they made it for. Look at this. A fake better. <laughs> yeah, you can have this one. That's the only one I can get? Yeah. Dang it. He's the fish tank police. <laughs> Look at how beautiful color. <laughs> So here I am, all excited, watching what I thought was a bunch of healthy looking girls get bagged up, but turns out they weren't doing so hot and I should have looked closer. And also, I need to get me a quarantine tank because this is ridiculous. So here I am, all excited, about to take my fish home, and really all I'm taking home is Deaf, Deaf, and More Deaf. That was their names, Deaf. Man, here's my boyfriend acting like a little dork. <laughs> He's so cute. Alright, here we go. Let's come home. I'll only end up with one of you. Yay. Okay, guys. So, I got the stuff. I got some fish, some females, and I got some brine shrimp, some frozen brine shrimp. And now we're walking to Walmart to go check out the fish aisle and get some food. If you're wondering why we're walking, it's because I can't drive and I crashed the car and almost died. So now we lift and we walk in between the stores. <laughs> so I never really find nothing at Walmart just because their decor is really not natural based or anything like that. It's more like a little kid based. Like even that little house that my boyfriend showed me, yeah, it's cute, but is it natural enough for me? No, not really. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up some of their water products because those are a little bit cheaper here. So I went ahead and I picked up some water conditioner and it guard. And you guys, huge win for the fish tank community. I think people are really starting to listen to us fish tank people because these guys are shutting down. As you can see, there's no restock. There's only about five fish left as there should be. Look at these tanks. No one has the time to do it here, so you shouldn't have it. And as for the betta fish tanks, all those small tanks were on sale, which I'm hoping means no one's buying them. So people are really hearing us. Isn't that great? So yeah, I'm pretty sure all Walmarts are shutting down their fish sections. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna get something for our puppy, Scrappy, because he always waits for the bag. <laughs> like he got something in there. So we're gonna get him a toy, maybe a treat. And that's it. Yeah, he has a lot of stuff on him, but he doesn't have a rope anymore, so we'll get him a rope. Now, to the food. Oh, or one snack. Let's get him one snack. Small breed adult? Yeah, small breed adult. You want this one? Chicken brown rice. Yeah, 10 bucks. Blue buffalo. 16. All right, daughter. Okay guys, so now we're back home and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got today as well as some stuff I got from Wish that is really cool, so yeah, stay tuned. Gotta acclimate these girls. So, let's do that. Excuse me, babe. Scrappy, new toy. 
He loves it. He loves it. Okay guys, so here's some of the stuff I got today and from Wish. So today I just got this to make my tap water safe. Some it guard because I'm gonna be introducing no fish and my fish are already kind of showing signs. They're kind of like scratching themselves against stuff. So we got some of the it guard. And this is also I got today, just from Pet Supply, some frozen brine shrimp. So this is the stuff from Wish over here. So this is like the guppy grass, aquarium grass. I'll show you guys everything in action and putting everything in the tanks and stuff in a second. Just show you guys what it is first. So this is the aquarium grass. It comes way more full than this. I already used it. And then these are our lilies. So with these you want to crack them open with like some, I don't know what you call it, a, a wrench. Or just crack them open with a knife or a rock or something. And just crack them and it makes them um, sprout faster. So, yeah, those are lilies. Hopefully, I get some lilies in the patio pond. And then these seeds are here. These are supposed to be water lettuce seeds. So, hopefully, we get some water lettuce, some floating plants out of that. The coolest part of the haul, I think, is this little battery packed um, LED light for the patio pond. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys all this in the tanks and stuff at the end. So, this light is really cool doesn't come with the batteries so just buy some triple a batteries and then one of these small circular ones and then uh, is it gonna work is it gonna work okay so now that i fixed the battery it's gonna work so yeah and they could change it to just one color any color all that stuff you dim it brighten it it's really nice i'll show you guys it in action in the pond at the end so if you guys want to find this stuff, this is called a submersible LED light on Wish. This is called Lit Lotus Seeds on Wish. This is called Aquatic Plants, and then you find the one that is Water Lettuce. And this is called Leaf to Leaf Mini Grass. So you guys can find all those things, these things right here on Wish. And then all that stuff was from PetSmart. So yeah, now I'm just going to show you guys me feeding the fish, putting the light in, how everything looks in the tank. Scrappy, what are you doing? Are you watching me? You're so cute, baby. Okay, guys, so for this, you want to look it up on the Wish app just as submersible LED light, and you should find it. Also, I set up this little patio pond in my last video, so if you guys want to take a look at how to make one of these for yourself, go ahead and check out the last video, and subscribe for many more videos of cool water features like this one and cool DIYs. Now, on to the next product. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is the guppy aquarium grass. I call it guppy grass, but it's called mini leaf to leaf grass. And here's what it looks like, as you guys can see. If you look at some of my older videos, you can see me planting this stuff. It was less than a week ago, and already look awesome tank. Only issue is I have to come in and get all the little stragglers out and all that stuff, but it looks amazing. And yeah, as you guys can see, the girls are still acclimating and looking really healthy, so that's a good sign. I'm still gonna go ahead and treat the tank with it. Um, as far as the lilies, like I told you guys, if you guys crack these and then put them in, as you can see, that one is already sprouting. You see that little curl coming out? That's going to be our lotus stem. So those are already growing. And yeah, as far as these, these haven't done much yet. I haven't really been successful with the water lettuce seed. Every now and then I go ahead and add some in. But I don't really think it's doing much. Hopefully it'll do better outside. So yeah. And yeah, let's go ahead and do the release before they stress too much. There's the first girl. Second one. So just a lot of like tiger print on these girls. Really pretty ones. There's another one. So yeah, they're doing great. Came right out. We got one still stuck in there. Come on. There she is. All right. So as you guys can see, this frozen brine shrimp had really big, big pieces in it. 
so i don't know if i like got a large size i'll look at the container but usually it has really the small ones you see in there so they did kind of overeat in this clip which could have been also why their health went downhill so i really can't blame the store too much but yeah as you guys can see they're gonna have to skip a feeding or two okay guys so it's about a day or two after i filmed the video and i thought i'd give you guys a little update so the tank is doing great as you can see the lotus really sprouted and it's probably gonna give us a lily pad here soon the grass is doing great the heater's on all that good stuff only bad news is some of the girls i bought didn't make it one of them did have mouth fungus and the other one had like an intestinal parasite so yeah that just goes to show as clean as the tanks are at stores you don't ever really know and if you can afford it and have the time to set it all up and stuff you should definitely get a quarantine tank it can save your whole tank i could have easily lost all these guys to that bad batch so yeah that's just an update the tank on its own though is doing really good and the fish I have are doing really good. That's the sole survivor right there. Only the yellow one made it, so yeah. Get a quarantine tank, I guess. Lesson learned. Okay guys, I hope you guys liked that haul and I hope you guys enjoyed some of the things I bought. And I hope you guys enjoyed the clips of it all being action and growing. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for another video. Make sure to subscribe and like and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.